On this video, we're going to cover the Nagong Ha Jing technique as it applies to emotions specifically. I'm going to demonstrate a few techniques that we use at the Shun Shun Fao Temple to be able to clear out emotional disturbances in clients. So we're going to use Jeffrey for today and we're going to start with the base technique which is the search for all, remove all, clear all uh, of the Nagong Ha Jing. So, I'm going to take the hand, all right, and to do the technique, I'm going to have Jeffrey think of the emotional disturbance that's bothering him. Let's say that he's angry, okay, and he's, and he's told me he's angry, so I'll simply use the technique. I'll say, okay, think about what's making you angry, or he can tell me uh, about, the, you know, some way he's conveyed to me that he's angry. And then I say, search for all, remove all, clear all. And I can do that in my mind, like we you know, would normally do, or I can say it out loud if I want to teach Jeffrey how to do the technique for himself or other people. So once I've done this technique, in a minute or so, the emotion will clear up and break up. But I'm going to go over the technical aspects of how to do this so in, in a more professional type of setting. What you need to do is first get a baseline for the emotion. Okay, so I'm going to ask Jeffrey right now if there's any particular emotion that's troubling him. So, is there any emotion that you have, uh, you don't necessarily have to say, but is there emotion that you would like me to do the technique for? Yeah. Okay, on a scale of 0 to 10, we want to determine the emotion's strength that it has over top of Jeffrey. So, 0 being none at all and 10 being the strongest that it could possibly be. So. What number would you give to this? A seven. Okay, a seven. All right. So I take the hand. Again, I can use any finger, and I simply lightly squeeze, search for all, remove all, clear all. And in doing that, the energetic technique goes to work. And in a few seconds, the number will start dropping until in a few minutes, it will be completely gone. Uh, the reason we do the baseline number system is because if we get a baseline, a lot of times they'll forget completely what the problem was to start with. Sometimes they'll just disassociate from it and it doesn't mean anything to them anymore. But a lot of times, if it's really traumatic and they remembered it with their heart, so to speak, once you've broken that energetic bond, they forget it completely. So either way is fine, uh, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to ask Jeffrey again, what number would you attribute to the emotion you were talking about earlier? Uh, three. Okay, so in just a matter of seconds, you can see how much it dropped. Okay, now, if in a few minutes it has not completely cleared out, which 90% of the time, maybe even higher than that, it goes ahead and clears out. It just takes a little bit, you know, it takes a few more minutes to drop completely off the scale. Okay, but for the most part, uh, you know, it, it will just drop completely off the scale. Uh, but you can hit it again, okay? Remember, you know, it doesn't take a lot of energy or effort, so there's nothing wrong with hitting it a few more times. Uh, so, uh, what number would you attribute it to it now? <laughs> Great. And you notice that he has no reference for it. He doesn't even say zero. Okay, he's like, uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> because now it's completely meaningless to him that we've flattened the emotion. So we get a baseline first. Uh, you know, well, I guess first we ask him what, what the problem is, emotional-wise. And again, he doesn't have to tell me what the emotion is. Because by doing the Nagong uh, Ha Jing, it discharges that energy into the body and clears it out no matter where it is. But I want Jeffrey to think of what it is because that accesses the part in the body where it's stored, where that pain and suffering is stored. And by tapping, or actually it's not tapping, but squeezing, uh, it releases that energy and therefore clears the emotional problem. So very simple to use. He tells me what the problem is, search for all, remove all, clear all. A couple minutes later, you know, it's non-existent. And this will hold. This will last. You know, the, the, this aspect of whatever it is will not return, at least not in the same exact way that it did before. In fact, I mean... Usually, it never returns even remotely uh, in the same area. Like, for example, let's say that you're mad at your brother, okay, and you tap that 
I keep saying tap, but it, it, it's really kind of like a tap, but it's a really just a light little squeeze. Let's say you, you know, you, you uh, squeeze that out, and once you squeeze it out or tap it out, then uh, you find out that, uh, you know, you're not mad at your brother anymore, but, you know, uh, you're mad at your sister. Well, that's not the same thing, and so that needs, you know, a treatment session too, and a session being like two or three minutes, <laughs> so it doesn't take very long. It actually takes, you know, about 10 seconds to administer the technique, and then the rest of the time is just waiting until, uh, you know, you verify that it's been completely removed. So it is a very long-standing therapy. Fear or phobia release is done the same way. I just want Jeffrey to concentrate, and by concentrate, I mean just tell me basically what the fear is, uh, either verbally or in his mind, he can think about it, and that, uh, that will trigger the energies that create it. And then, again, I'll just do the same technique, nothing new here, search for all, remove all, clear all, okay? And that'll clear the fear or phobia out. So. Let's do a fear or phobia. Okay. Do you have anything that you can think of that maybe you're afraid of or afraid of having to? And it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a, a fear of like drowning or something to that effect. It could be a fear of losing somebody or something to that effect. Heights. Okay, heights. All right, go. On a scale of zero to ten, what, what number would you give to that fear? I find this interesting because he's so tall that he's afraid of heights. So he must walk around in utter fear every day. So this would be a great help. So, all right. So uh, a seven, you said? On yes. a scale of ten. Okay. So search for all, remove all, clear all. Okay. And we'll give that a few seconds. And uh, it just gives the energy time to process. The small and subtle affect the large and physical. And so all this is is just energy based. So we just change the energy pattern. That's all. Nothing new here. This is the same technique, just being used in a, on a different application. Okay, so now I'm going to ask, what uh, what number would you give to your fear of heights? Couldn't tell you. Okay, <laughs> and I couldn't tell you because there is no fear of heights anymore. Bam, just that fast, knocked it right out. So, treating phobias, no big deal.